Word on the street is that Tesla stock could be over $400 per share in the following weeks after earnings if earnings come in better than expectations. Now, if today was a sign of good earnings to come, well, you should be pretty excited if you're a Tesla bull. The shorts? Not so much. Today's move of about 3.2% caused a short seller loss of over a billion dollars collectively on the day today. That's a massive loss. Short positions are at a two-year high. There's $26.5 billion worth of short positions currently in Tesla. So if earnings are better than expectations, could Tesla reach new all-time highs? That's what we're going to talk about here in this video. But on top of it, Tesla is getting an almost $750 million payday. And it's not what you expect. In conjunction with the billion dollars Tesla is raising in the ABS market, it looks like dilution is far out into the future. And this is possibly another reason why Tesla stock is up 3% on the day. But not only that, we have some big data coming tomorrow. And this data has implications for a soft landing or a hard landing and I think you need to know what the expectations are and how the markets could react upon if this data is good or bad. If this is your first time to the channel and you want to stay up to date with everything happening with Tesla every single day, I mean the good, the bad, the great, the sad, the everything in between. Hit that subscribe button as well as the like button. We also keep you up to date with what's happening in the broader markets as this does affect Tesla and overall affect our portfolios. Tesla is going to receive $735 million from its own executives to settle a lawsuit over excess compensation. Now, what this means in simplest terms is shareholders sued the executives, the directors of Tesla saying that, hey, you were paid too much, give that money back to Tesla. And they were being sued for a lot more than $735 million, billions of dollars. But they decided to settle on $735 million. So this is a special kind of shareholder litigation where shareholders do not get paid out, but the money actually gets returned back to Tesla. The directors, including Oracle co-founder Larry Ellison, agreed to return the equivalent value of 3.1 million Tesla stock options, according to a court filing. So Tesla just got a massive payday. This is not something the bears are going to talk about, but this is a big win for Tesla as a business and a big win for you as a shareholder. As part of the settlement, the directors also agreed not to receive any compensation for 2021, 2022, and 2023, and the board will change the way compensation is determined. So this likely means less stock-based compensation, which is ultimately positive, again, for shareholders. Let's now talk about Tesla potentially hitting new all-time highs. Now, if anyone tells you all-time highs after earnings, the couple of weeks or a month following earnings is impossible, well, they're full of shit and they're, they're lying to you, okay? Now, if someone tells you that is probable that we hit all-time highs, that would imply that there's a greater possibility of all-time highs than not, and I don't think that is necessarily correct as well. I do expect Tesla's earnings to be phenomenal. And I do expect some great things to be said. And I think you could reasonably hit $350 per share. That's actually what I'm betting on. I have a trade currently that will pay out $20,000 off of a $400 risk if Tesla closes above $350 by, I believe it's the beginning of August. So I'm like literally betting that this is going to happen. So... Take that into consideration. I'm not a financial advisor. I'm not a financial planner. If you guys want to come trade with me every time I make a trade on Tesla or any other stock option or crypto, link down below in the description of this video. You can come talk to me, ask me questions, all of that. So if you ask me where I think Tesla's going after earnings, I think it's over 350. Now, do I think all-time highs are in the cards? Well, am I going to bet on that? No. Do I think it's possible? Yes. And hopefully that makes some sense. Now, why I think it's possible is simply looking at things on a relative basis. I sit here and think to myself, why is Apple or Microsoft 
so much more expensive on a peg ratio basis and trading well past all time highs. The only logical conclusion that I can make is that Apple and Microsoft have a perceived safety during a recession or economic downturn that Tesla perceivably by the markets does not have. In other words, the markets think if a recession comes, Apple and Microsoft are going to do much better than Tesla will. And I think that's a bunch of shit. I don't think that's true at all. So in, in that light, I think there's no reason that Tesla should not be higher than where it is today. And after all, a lot of the bears will sit here and say that Tesla's had this 150 plus percent rally. The stock has to come down. But I sit here and look at and say, hey, should Tesla ever been at $100 per share in the first place? Probably not. Where should Tesla probably have bottomed? Well, probably back here where it bottomed in June of 2022. And that was around $210 per share. Well, if I look at Tesla and I say, hey, if that's where the stock should have bottomed, then you would have really only seen a rally of about 40% from here. Now, that's obviously hindsight's 2020 kind of deal. We did not bottom at 210. We bottomed at 101. But is it fair to sit here and say Tesla was so oversold that it has to fall because it's gotten back to where it reasonably should be? Absolutely not. So I hate the bears that use that kind of mentality to justify Tesla has to fall. That's 100,000% not the case. And that's why Tesla continues to break out to a new high of this cycle. Now, again, when I sit here and think about Tesla relative to big tech names, obviously I think it's full of shit that Tesla would do worse than those other guys. But that likely means Tesla should be higher from here. Tesla's 52 week high is 315. Is it unrealistic or improbable that Tesla would hit 350 after stellar earnings that I expect to, to come? Well, absolutely not. Again, I don't even think Apple and Microsoft should be where they are now. But 350, maybe if Apple and Microsoft were, let's do, let's do a little, little charting here. If Apple and Microsoft were 19%, below their all-time highs, where that's where Tesla would be if it was at $350, I think that's pretty reasonable. I think that's probably where they all they, they all should be. I don't think any of them. I don't think Apple should be at almost $200 per share. So hopefully you guys are picking up what I am putting down here. It looks like $350 would be a fair level for Tesla considering where other big tech names are currently at. Now, all-time highs, are they possible? Of course they are. And I think your all-time highs would really be fueled by a short squeeze as well as a gamma squeeze at that point. As we previously mentioned in the beginning of this video, you're the most prone to a short squeeze as well as a gamma squeeze that you have seen in over two years. Short sellers are taking incredible losses right now, and it must suck to be short in Tesla. Like, let's not discredit that at all. If you do get to all-time highs, it's because you see a short squeeze, something along the same lines as NVIDIA. Everyone was betting against the name. They came out. They had rock solid earnings, much better than expectations. They raised guidance by like 40% and shorts got squeezed. They had to cover on their short positions. NVIDIA hit all time highs. That's possible with Tesla as well. Is that the most probable? Well, not really. Now, something else I want you guys to consider in regards to uh, you know, 350 or possibly higher than that after earnings is the comparable to PE ratios that all of these hedge funds and institutions and analysts want to make to say Tesla has to fall because it's overvalued. Well, if Tesla beats the average analyst estimates for 79 cents of EPS, if they come in higher to 90 to 95 cents of EPS as I expect they will that instantly lowers the valuation for Tesla because that essentially raises their trailing 12 month EPS number which is currently at three dollars 40 cents per share it would boost higher but it also will raise the estimates for the next 12 months your forward PE ratio and that would instantly get lowered as well so you would actually have an instant kind of boost to valuation or uh, maybe I should say an instant lowering 
evaluation, which would support higher prices for Tesla following earnings. Now let's briefly go ahead and look at the option chain for this Friday with Tesla because there is a lot of option activity. The 290 call, which is currently in the money, has almost 15,000 for open interest. This is 1.5 million shares market makers would have to buy. The biggest expiration by far is that $300 call. And that's where over 300, you really start to get influenced quite a bit by market makers needing to buy Tesla stock. Just on the $300 strike alone would be about 4.5 million shares market makers would have to buy. Now, if you add up the 290, 250, the 295, 297, 50, and the $300 strike, that would be a, over 6 million shares market makers would have to buy if Tesla goes above $300 per share. That's 6 to 3% of the daily volume that you see in Tesla. That does have a very big impact on, or will have a very big impact on Tesla if that is the case. But you likely will see more option buyers heading into earnings, which could make this effect a little bit more sizable or have a little bit bigger impact to Tesla by the time you actually do get to Wednesday. You should also consider potentially earnings in the broader markets not being as good as expectations. As we have talked about here in this video, if you look at a stock like Apple or Microsoft on a peg ratio basis, they're very expensive. The PEs are at some of the highest levels they have been at on those names for a long time now. They need to have good earnings. If they have bad earnings, their mar their market weighting is so large in the NASDAQ and S&P and the NASDAQ, just those two stocks is worth 25%. Well, you could see a quite a big fall in the broader markets and that would affect Tesla and that would be a negative thing. So take that into consideration as well in your due diligence on Tesla stock and potentially a rally after earnings. Now, we're going to have some economic data as well that is coming out tomorrow, but economic data over the next coming weeks as well could also affect Tesla. The data coming out tomorrow is retail sales month over month for June. This comes out at 830 in the morning tomorrow. You're expecting 0.5%. So you're expecting a nice month over month increase. Last month's rating was 0.3%. Now I've said this before, but I'll say it again. This is much different of a market than what, what you've seen in 2022, where inflation was running rampant and it didn't look like it was slowing down. And every time we got bad economic data, the markets rallied. Every time we got good economic data, the markets fell. This is no longer that market. So you want to see good data. You want to see good economic data. You don't want to see signs of a recession. So if this retail sales number comes in better than expectations, you're probably going to get a bullish reaction in the markets. And that could continue to boost stocks such as Tesla. If retail sales come in negative, maybe really negative, well, that's going to have a really negative effect on our markets. Good news is now good news. Good news is no longer bad news for the markets. That is it for this video. If you made it to the end and you are hearing my voice right now through your speakers, hit that subscribe button as well as the like button. Not to mention that if you want to see the trades that I currently have on Tesla as well as other trades that I have open right now, well, link down below in the description of this video. Come join the trading community. You will get alerts every time I make a trade. This is not a texting alert kind of thing. You will actually be able to come talk to me and talk about each trade that I am making or any questions or concerns or problems that you might have. We can discuss it. A real community. If you want to be a part of it, link down below in the description of this video. On top of that, check out the links for merch as well as the link to get yourself some free stock with Weeble if you have not signed up already. Thank you for watching. Enjoy the rest of your day and I will see you in the next one.